guys, today I am doing a review on the new Lime Crime Diamond Crushes. I'm a little bit skeptical to even do this review because I know that there has been some controversy surrounding these products and the brand. Let me start off by saying that I haven't bought from Lime Crime in a few years, ever since the controversy with them really kicked off and a lot of people were boycotting their brand, I was definitely one of them and then I felt like they'd kind of redeemed themselves and they had stayed out of any trouble for quite a while so I decided to purchase their diamond crushes. Then I watch Atlee's, can't, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Then I watched her video and I saw that she had a big reaction to the Lime Crime Diamond Crushes. I'll leave her video linked below. I've heard other people have had reactions to them as well. So I was really hesitant and when I bought them I was really nervous. So I want to go over a couple of things about the Diamond Crushes before we begin that. Firstly, if you're wondering what I'm wearing on my lips, I am wearing Trip Diamond Crusher with Max Matte Royal over the top of it. And I only just found this out just now when I was trying to cover up Trip with my Matte Royal and it turned out to be this really beautiful blue shade. So I'm really happy with that. I bought the entire bundle of the Diamond Crushes and there, there are six. Basically what these Diamond Crushes are, are supposed to be like a lip topper. Lime Crime also says that they can be used on the body, on the face, not directly on the eye area, which I want to keep in mind because I feel like they had kind of alluded to the fact that they could be used on the eye area and then now on their website it says not to be used directly on the eye area, just to keep you informed. But they say that you can use them pretty much anywhere and they are a matte glittery liquid lipstick type thing they're not quite as heavy as a liquid lipstick they're very thin when you take them out of the tube they feel kind of watery when you put them on your lips watery with like curds this sounds really gross but it's it kind of has like a little bit of the curdy feel as you're putting them on your lips and you you kind of smooth it out with the applicator and then they dry completely matte, which was something that I was really looking forward to. I bought the Kylie Metallic Lip Kits, and I was really disappointed because they didn't dry completely matte, and they weren't transfer proof, and that's exactly what I wanted from a glittery top coat, and I didn't get it with that. These have given it to me, although they do have their downfalls and we'll be talking about them shortly. I will put the price on the screen here. I can't remember exactly how much I paid. I think maybe 80 for all six of these. Lime Crime ships straight to New Zealand. That's what I did. They have a very strong strawberry scent. When you pull them out immediately, it's like that plastic fake strawberry smell. So that's something to keep in mind if you really don't like fragrance. Also watching Atlee's her new video. She went into the headquarters, Lime Crime headquarters with Doe. They tried on all the lip toppers and she found out that the strawberry scent was what was giving her a reaction. So that's something to keep in mind because if you're sensitive to scents, they're just something that cause irritation. And when you're putting them on bare skin, especially around your mouth, they will irritate you. And that's something that I'm really disappointed with. Apparently Doe is going to be turning down the notch on the amount of scent that's in them. Or perhaps taking the scent out altogether. I'm not sure how conclusive that is if they've done other tests but I just wanted to pass that knowledge on to you as well that you may want to hold off until they have reformulated these. Hopefully it will happen shortly because these are really cool products and I'm disappointed that Doe has to keep reformulating things in order for it to be acceptable. Did these irritate me? <sighs> when I first got these I swatched them all on my arm. I wanted to see if I was going to have a reaction to them. My arm started to itch so I got in the shower, washed them off, and then I had a rash on my arm where the diamond crushes were, like just an irritation rash, for maybe two hours, and I was out that whole time, so I didn't get home in time to take a photo. Then I was stupid enough to put them all over my face to see if I would have a similar reaction on my face. They tingle on upon application, and when they're wet, they kind of do tingle and itch a little bit. Not stingy, but they do tingle. I put it directly on my eye area. That probably tingled the most. Stripped was the one that tingled the most for me. Strip is the only one that also stains my skin, but I digress. They did tingle. I put it on the tops of my cheekbones. My cheekbones started going a little bit red. Since wearing them on my lips though, I don't notice that the irritation is significant enough for me to stop wearing it. I know, I'm such an idiot. I really like the look of them. So it's kind of like I'm taking that risk myself and I don't know if I would necessarily suggest that you do, although 
I really love the look of them. I think that they're really cool, unique, innovative products that I haven't seen anyone else do before. Like I've seen lip toppers, but none of them really dry matte as far as I am aware. So I was really, really excited for these and I'm still really excited for them. And I love looking at them and I love using them in looks because they're so unique. Although I would probably still wait until she reformulated them. I also have heard the claims about the applicators coming half full. That was true for a few of mine. Um, it's kind of hard to show you on camera, but stripped came, I would say, significantly more empty than the other ones, even when the applicator is in the tube, which is what they say is the reason for not filling it up completely. I don't really know how to feel about these. I feel like they look really, really awesome on the lips. They are a beautiful product. I do end up with glitter all over my face, but I do really like the way that it looks. I would personally only wear these on my lips because I feel like my lips are more hardy to irritation than say my cheekbones or my eyes, which I'd probably not recommend now. I know what I know, which is that they were a little bit of an irritant for me. Kind of review leaves it up to your discretion. Are you going to be trying it? Do you think that it's worth the irritation? Are you going to be taking the risk? Or are you going to wait until she reformulates them? You tell me down in the comments section. These are really beautiful. The packaging is incredible. It's thicker and longer than the normal Lime Crime Velveteens. And it's got this beautiful, like, gilded, looks like foil top. Like, the packaging is just phenomenal. It's really beautiful. The applicator's really sturdy. The product's just a really cool product. I just wish that it didn't have the irritant of the scent in it. You do what you like with that review. And I will see you in my next one. Bye! This one here is called Choke. Choke is a really beautiful colour. It's like this light baby pink with some blue iridescence. This one here is called Dope. This one's probably one of my favourites because it's like this beautiful rose gold tan colour. I really like this one. And what I do is I let it dry completely. So there's no tackiness to it. It's really thin on the lips. And I rub my finger on it and as you can see it's just becoming way more metallic it's like it's crushing the pigment i really love this shade because it looks kind of like i'm just wearing gloss and this is really beautiful because it is a pink with a lot of gold shimmer it looks really pink in the tube but as you put it on it looks like you know makeup geeks glamorous eyeshadow it looks just like that this next one is called fluke this shade is really beautiful. It's darker than the other shades that we've seen. And it's more of a purple mauve undertone. This is the next one that I'm going to do. And I wanted to show you this before I put it on. Can you see, hopefully, how this top section just has like pink liquid in it? It kind of separates and no matter how many times I try to mix it all together, I've tried putting it in the fridge, it just doesn't go back together properly. It also came a little bit more empty than the other bottles. So this one here is Strip and it is a hot Barbie pink. This one is also the only one that stains my lips. And this one stains really badly. You can see that stained my lips quite a lot. I've covered it with some foundation so hopefully it doesn't affect the look of this one. This one here is called Trip. And it's probably my favourite one. It has this purple blue base. 